Peace for Babar provides rotary credit to villagers to install hives around their subsistence farms near the Mole Wildlife Reserve in Ghana. When elephants attempt to raid crops, they will upset trip-wired hives. The bees will drive off the elephants, preserving both the crops and the elephants, who might otherwise be poached by enraged farmers. All of the funds raised by BFB go into the rotary credit fund that support project goals. Travel by overseas directors is funded out of their own pockets. In the summer of 2010, Rabi Al Hassan, one of the BFB directors, combined a visit back to Ghana to visit family with a trip to Manyore to check on project progress. For the remainder of this video, to supplement the audio portion, transcripted dialogue will appear in subtitles on white backgrounded ticker tape. Rabi began her fact finding at OIC International, one of the BFB partners. Mr. Benonova is Program Director for the Food Security Program of Opportunities Industrialization Centers International, OIC, which is a Bees for Babar partner in the northern region of Ghana. I am the Program Director for Opportunities Industrialization Centers International uh, Food Security Program in the northern region. Uh, the program, the member program, is one that uh, Mr. Ruby was involved in uh, got us in discussion and based on uh, the number of times he had visited our program and, uh, and worked with us. And this program at Namangu area, Banga area uh, in the game reserve, uh, one thing we noticed is that the farmers there Every time that the farm and crop, uh, elephants come in and then they stamp on the crop and they destroy it. And so uh, farmers were complaining all the time. It's not easy to, uh, there's no other way of driving this animal because it's even forbidden for you to disturb them. But uh, we should find other environmentally acceptable methods uh, that could uh, let these animals, these uh, elephants, to move away from the crop side. Only that will be harvested will be used as a source of income for women groups. And then also the, the farmers will be able to harvest their maize crop and then it will contribute to uh, reducing food insecurity in households, uh, which is the main focus for this program here. Uh, we want to reduce food insecurity in households and uh, that this program definitely is going to help in that direction. Very much appreciated. We have uh, actually given a focal person as Ibai Mali. Uh, he's working closely with Mr. Uh, Berbe on that. So, again, I want to thank uh, those who have uh, thought well about us. Uh, I would say that their contribution is not in vain, uh, it is going to help poor people, vulnerable people, women and children, and, uh, and also to and livelihood uh, possibilities in the area. Uh, we, we, we will continue to give our support uh, wherever we can. And we, we appreciate everything that you're doing. Yes. Thank you. Uh, the idea is so brilliant to us because it is not only just giving money to people like uh, development work. It is something that is targeted in moving the people, supporting them in business, so as to help them develop their minds so that everything they do should be geared towards increasing money in their pockets, should geared towards increasing their annual income levels by which they can uh, handle their basic needs as parents, their basic needs as uh, social contributors in moving it forward. Uh, Beast for Baba has come to stay as a result of uh, Conrad there will be in, uh, interaction with OIC International when he came as a farmer to farmer volunteer. We, however, worked with the Holy National uh, Game Reserve, whereby every particular year the 
increasing number of the elephants normally will cross crop breeding thereby make them more vulnerable and the state or the government is not compensating them in any way so when Conrad uh, came uh, in direct contact with this he felt even though he was not a Ghanaian but he felt there was that kind of a need for them to reach out and in OIC we also saw this as a way by which we can help the women groups there so that they can add value to the very little that is uh, left from camp levels to it so that they can equally move Ghana forward in success and achievement so long as uh, income generation is uh, concerned and in that when we saw that you no know, Conrad is a very wonderful beekeeper who has gotten that kind of passion love for the profession so he said no there is a very uh, possible way by which we can incorporate beekeeping along the farm boundaries around the communities farms so that uh, in an event that when the elephants will come so that uh, they can temper over the, uh, the, uh, the apiaries and then the bees can really maybe react because uh, when we conducted a survey in and around the Mori National Park we saw that every single known apiary in a tree there was that kind of uh, less movement of uh, uh, elephants towards there somewhere not less than two kilometers to that so we saw that no if that is going to be in position we don't combine beekeeping alongside preventing uh, 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 crop breeding from uh, the end we targeted three communities Mognore was one Kabambi and Kananto was another however pertaining to the shortcomings of funding we saw the no let's maybe for now pick one particular community and that is Mognore for now and Mognore we saw no with the uh, with the involvement of funds because uh, Mognore from here to Mognore is somewhere 120 uh, to 30 kilometers away from Tamale so it is not a small journey and then the road network is not all the best will be given that kind of support at least one beehive within the farm boundaries and we see the possibility of it and then uh, those have been given and then it was OIC who helped us in getting a car to move all these beehives to the point and then uh, we did that and then the, the people have really uh, taken up but where they have installed and we installed one for them to see how they would do and all these things were given to them at a cost whereby they will pay and when they pay they will then uh, give it to another eight, seven, uh, 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 eight member within the group so that we can replicate it until all the three parallel committees gotten the others there we can be in position to say yes beekeeping can actually prevent uh, elephants from causing crop breeding on farms and near farms. So that is the project we are embarking for now. You can find out more about apicultural development and the Bees for Babar project and even make a donation by cutting and pasting into your browser the web page address from this video's descriptor or simply by googling Bees for Babar. Thanks for watching. Bye. Search YouTube for Bees for Babar Progress Report to watch part two of this video. And as always, thanks to the rest of the Bees for Babar team.